Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Capcom just announced that they will be releasing a new update for Dragon's Dogma 2 in the next few weeks. They did not give an exact time, but they offer a preview of the changes included in this update. It will be available for all platforms, although the update could hit at different time frames. So let's take a look at some of the changes. A lot of them are quality of life improvements. So let's take a look. Number one, they are reducing the infection frequency of Dragon's Plague and adjusting the size of pawns infected with Dragon's Plague to be more noticeable. I think this is fantastic. Personally, my pawn got the Dragon STD only twice. It is not a lot by any means, but it is one of those things that I rather just didn't happen at all because it makes me sad every time I have to kill my own pawn. I kind of develop this weird emotional attachment to my main pawn. So I'm glad that this is being reduced. Very welcome change. And they will be making those growing red eyes more noticeable, which I think is very helpful to notice when they contracted the disease. Next, they're also adding an option to zoom in and zoom out on the faces of their reason and the pawns in the status screen and shops in all those pages. I think that's pretty nice, you know, if you want to kind of take a closer look at a new helmet, whether they look good or not, this is pretty useful, very welcome change. They are also fixing issues in the minimap where treasure chests that have already been opened still show up. This one is pretty annoying. At the beginning when I didn't know, I kept looking for chests that I have already opened. And after a while, I just completely ignored those chest marks on the minimap. So I am glad that they are fixing it. So very welcome change as well. And then they made a lot of adjustments to the pawns AI, so their behaviors and their dialogue, basically making them a little less annoying, a little bit smarter when it comes to falling off cliffs. I don't know about you, but that happens a lot. I lost a lot of pawns that just fell off the cliff and that's it. They're just gone. So very welcome. I really hope this improves the gameplay because one of the worst thing is you're about to fight a boss and suddenly you realize that you're missing a pawn because they just fell off the cliff moments ago. So that is great. They're also reducing the frequency of pawns offering to be higher. I mean, this one, I don't think is a problem. I think the amount of pawns that you encounter out there offering to be higher, I think it's a I think right now it's fine. I don't feel like it's too much, but they are reducing the frequency. Maybe it is to some people. I'm okay with that either way, but it is there if it happens to be an issue for you. Next up, they are also fixing issues where sometimes escort quests are considered fail when accessing character edit or other specific situation. This happened to me only once. I generally avoid escort quest whenever I see one of those NPCs standing outside my house. I just turn around, go somewhere else, or I go to one of the expensive houses instead because they only show up at the cheap houses. They don't show up at the expensive ones. But occasionally I will pick one up, but this only happened to me once, so it hasn't been a problem for me, but I'm glad to see that they're also addressing it. Next, and this one happens a lot to me. They're fixing an issue where players can go to jail when fighting monsters in town. So I don't get thrown into jail, but many, many times when a dragon shows up or any type of enemy shows up, I get attacked by the security guards afterwards. It has happened quite a few times more than I like, so I'm glad that they are fixing this issue as well. After that, it's just some fixes for crashes and freezes, as well as some minor bug fixes. I know that performance has been an issue. Luckily, that has not been an issue for me. I only have my game crashed just once. 
but I know other people have had quite a lot of issues with this so hopefully those crashes and bugs are fixed for many of them in this update. I'm looking forward for this update once it becomes released I'm gonna try to test them and see if I can notice any difference or I find out new things I'll do another video. Other than that, thank you all for watching, enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.